Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be painting something a little bit different. Someone requested that I incorporate fruit into an arrangement, so I did just that. First, I am painting this peach. And to do this, I'm painting two shapes right next to each other, leaving a little bit of space in the middle, about halfway up. I'm leaving that space there to show the shape of the peach without having to paint too many details. The first shape is a crescent, and then the second shape is kind of an oval shape. And while the paint is still wet, I'm just touching in a little bit of a darker pink to add some dimension. Next, I'm placing the base petal shapes of this flower, and then the leaf that's attached to my peach. I'm using Winsor Newton Professional Watercolor Paint, Fabriano Cold Press Watercolor Paper, my Princeton Round Brush Size 8, and my new Princeton Round Brush Size 0. I'll leave links to all of the colors and supplies I'm using down in the description box below if you want to check that out. Next, I'm going with a size zero round brush and adding in some stems where they should go. I am looking at a sketch I drew out to paint this so I know exactly where the branches should go. I'm not just winging it for this painting. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with sketching something out first. You're not cheating, you're just using another method of creating art. So don't let anyone tell you you're cheating by sketching out your painting first, because that's just silly. Once I have these little branches and stems in, I'll go back and add my leaves. I'm not too worried about the paint from the branches bleeding into my leaves, and I kind of like the organic feel it brings to my painting. Next I'm going in with the second peach, following the same method that I used before, but this time I had the leaves to work around so the shape is a little bit different, but that's totally fine with me. After adding a few more leaves, I'm just going in with my small brush and adding tiny flowers as filler to help tie the whole thing together.
Next, I'm going in and adding some line details on my flower. I've turned my paper so that I don't get the blue paint from the tiny flower smeared everywhere. And now I'm painting the details on the leaves. I just love the way the little lines just finish off the painting. I'll finish off the anemone by adding the center. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you follow this tutorial and post a picture of it on Instagram, please tag me at Snowberry Design Co. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I post a new calligraphy video every Monday and a new watercolor video every Wednesday. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I love questions and I love requests for future videos, so send them my way. I also wanted to let you know about my online beginner watercolor floral course that will be released in April 2018. I've been working really hard on this course and I'm really excited for you guys to check it out. I have a waitlist for the course that you can join so that you won't miss anything. I'll leave a link down for that in the description box as well if you're interested. Thanks again for watching. Bye!